All right, so this is coming out the blue for my longtime followers, my subscribers, but I've decided to move on from YouTube. Like over the past, you probably noticed like the past week or so, maybe not, may, may not have noticed, I haven't really been putting as much into these videos. But I decided I'm going to step away from YouTube. So this is going to be my final video. Because I've decided I'm moving on with other things in my life. There's other things I'm prioritizing more than YouTube. So, so this will be my final video. I've deleted all my streams. So sorry to my fans, but I've decided to move on with my life. But before I do that, I decide, hey, let's come on here right to the point and at least give you a final video. I at least owe those of you guys whose streams I've been on, who I've collaborated with, who've watched my videos, one final video. So I'm just going to come on here, give my shout-outs, and say farewell. So for, let's just start right at the top. Main shout-out goes to Mitch Kofsky, head of the Hardcore Sports Network, who made me a member of the network, who I've had the privilege of doing live streams both on my channel and the Hardcore Sports Network over the past year. I've had the privilege of appearing on pick and roll podcast every Wednesday and then the pickums during the NFL season. I had the privilege of doing that all season last year and doing a few this season. So thanks to Mitch for always promote my videos, promote me, watch my content, invite and me on the hardcore sports network and let me collaborate with him. Also, while we're still on the subject of the hardcore sports network, give a shout out to fellow pick and roll podcast members, next shift, Randy, the late NYG Jeff T85, a.k.a. Jeffrey Turner, rest in peace. Rios, Just Fans podcast. Also, we've had some, you know, Coach Ed Gladney there as well. Blazed Radio. And even some of the other guest appearances we've had from guys like Billy Halftime, Further AM, etc. But also give those guys shout outs too, especially Halftime, Further, because those guys... You know, I've also talked a lot of football with them, too, particularly about the birds. And there's just so many people I can give shout-outs to. I'm going to go on and on and try to remember everyone I can. I've also got TRL from the Pick and Roll Podcast, Suns fan who joined a few months ago. Also, the other guys I've had the privilege of collaborating with, AK Eagle, AK Eagles Uncensored, who joined us on the weekly Pick'ems, who we had the privilege of listening to. Also got Philly Talk Podcast, AKA Philly Mike, who... He was the first YouTuber who I ever did a collab with. I appeared on one of his call-in shows in early 2021. That was the first time I ever did a collab with anyone. Tone to Shields II, who I also did a few collab vids with. Got to watch some of his videos. Shout out to him. Also one of my longtime followers, iDrip22. Shout out him. Nightings, Eagles, Phillies content creator. Also joined me for the Rams-Bills opening game last season. I was doing the play-by-play. -play. He was there for most of the game with me. Shout out to him. And shout out to all my subscribers and followers that ever came through to a live stream, even if it was just one time or watched one video and left one comment. Shout out to all of y'all. Because you made that the entire entire run on YouTube worth it and you made it fun. Oh, well, some other shout outs. Joey Sake 72. Shout out to him as well. So Desert Eagle 90. Longtime Eagles content creator who was a fan of even before I was even considering making YouTube videos three years ago. It's just so many people. I know I'm going to forget a few of my shout outs in this farewell video, but I'm trying to get everyone I can in here. Please, Jeff, Mitch, Next Year Frandy, Further, Coach Ed. It's just so many I can give shout outs to. I know I'm going to forget a few. Hell, even EC1 football, I mean, I did a few collabs with him a few times. I know he eventually was out of the Hardcore Sports Network and part ways, but I feel like it's worth giving everyone I can a shout-out while I could. We have, of course, Philly Halftime. Philly 500, I got to see some of his videos. Kyle, Nitro Freak, longtime content creator. I mean, it's just so many, so many out there I can consider. Oh, Cool Cat Connor. Where are you hiding? Two of the funniest content creators on YouTube here of Green Philly Sports content. You guys are really entertaining. And even though I'm stepping away from YouTube, I might still check out some of your videos for some of you guys. I'm a, but mm, unfortunately, it's not going to be on a regular basis. But I might still check out some of your content. 
And I'll still be on Twitter from time to time. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll still be able to see some of my posts from time to time talking about sports. So I'm not going to completely go away. So the Nikki Stees persona ain't going to be completely gone. I'll still, for the pickums, I'll still be doing the picks, but I won't be appearing on any videos anymore. But man, it was a fun ride for those three years. To everyone that I mentioned, shout outs. To those I forgot about, feel free to drop yourself. It was just, it was a fun run. And thank you guys for making this run fun. Thank you for making my YouTube content creation experience enjoyable. And maybe I will return one day, but as of right now, I don't see it. So again, to everyone, thank you. It was a fun ride. And just keep doing what you're doing to the full-time content creators out there. Best of luck to you. And I'm just going to say this one last time since it is football season. Fly, Eagles, fly. Do one final toast. A little bit of water I have left to my time on YouTube. Nikki Stees, signing out.